challenges have been how to best get our traffic in and out prior to and then the day of. Our accessibility will be just like it has been every year on Miracle Treat Day. Prior to the first three days and even this weekend, we may have some challenges. You may have to use south, south entrance or west off of Egan Avenue. They've guaranteed us we'll have great access on Thursday, Miracle Tree Day. So we'll have our band across the street at the Methodist Church, and we'll have all the kids' games and inflatables on Hearth Avenue. That will be closed. It's closed now, actually, and it will maintain being closed. The biggest change, probably logistically, this year will be our drive-through. Well, what we're going to do this year is we're going to enter from off of First Avenue through the alley south between Wells Fargo and uh, Trinity Church. Uh, it should work fine. It actually might work better because we can keep traffic away from the highway and away from where all the people are and where they're crossing. So I think it'll be a safer, better route. We didn't set a goal, Matt. What we're trying to do is focus on of where we got started and, and that is drilling down to basics of what got us to where we are at this point today, how we got here, and what happens with the money. Rather than just focus on goals and pound on numbers, we want to get back to the basics of what Children's Miracle Network and what Miracle Treat Day really mean. And that is about helping kids and children and their families. So that's what we're focusing on. We're not going to set a goal. Uh, we're just going to work as hard as we can. Uh, have all the things in place that we've always done and get our message out of what we're doing and why we do it. Miracle Tree Day, July 28, 2016. See you there.